Okay, uh, let's talk about direct variation versus linear equations. Um, direct variation has a formula that looks like this, y equals a x. Linear equations, the formula is y equals mx plus b. And the key here is going to be this b. That's the main difference between direct variation and linear equations. Direct variation equations have to have y equals ax and nothing else, whereas linear equations can be obviously y equals mx plus b. The main difference graphically is going to be where um, a direct variation always has to go through the point 0, 0, which again, 0, 0 is right here. It's where the two axes intersect each other. And because there's no B term out here, that means that the Y intercept is 0. And a direct variation equation will always make a line that goes through 0, 0. Now, you can have it, you know, go through 0, 0 over here or go through 0, 0 up like this. You know, it can go through the origin anywhere but it has to go through the origin. Now a linear equation um, can be a line anywhere on the graph at all. You know it can just as long as it's a line somewhere on the graph we're okay with it and they can go you know sideways like I have them here, they can go you know down here, they can go horizontal, anywhere on the graph a line can occur. Now you'll notice that right here this linear graph goes through 0, 0 as well. A line that goes through 0, 0 will be both a direct variation and a linear equation because by definition a direct variation equation is, see if I can write this, is a line. Okay, when you graph direct variation, it'll always make a line, but it can be a linear equation and not be, not always direct variation, okay? Because of this B term, and that's really what determines it. If B equals zero, then the linear is the same thing as direct variation. If B is anything else, then it's just a linear equation. And that's how you can tell, you know, the difference.